and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Faith and I would love to have you along the journey. Today we're going to be talking all about the Nordstrom sale, which is open right now to a select few. Now I'll be honest, I had never shopped a sale before, so this year I was really excited because they have some awesome things, some awesome bundles, so if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, first things first, I want to talk a little bit about the sale and a little bit of information behind it because I know for sure I didn't know everything until I started doing a little bit more research and finding out what the sale items included. So first tip, I did not know that the sale is actually new items that are about to hit Nordstrom's shelves come fall. I was always under the impression that a sale means items that have just been marked down but they have been previously selling and that is not the case. The sale items includes all new items. Now I will let you know, some of the sale items are not the best price you can get year round. I will say on Black Friday, sometimes brands have 50% off their individual website and on the Nordstrom sale, some of the items are like range anywhere from 25 to 45%. So you still don't get the full benefit, but I will say I do think the bundles are worth the money. They have a lot of bundles this year from sunscreen to deodorant to earrings, all sorts of things that I think you do get a good bang for your buck. So there are several tiers of the Nordstrom member club, the top being the Nordstrom icons. You have to spend $15,000 annually with your Nordstrom card to apply for this tier. Now they did get first dibs at the sale, which started July 12th. They got to go in store and they got to shop everything before everyone else did. So that is a pretty nice perk, but you do have to spend a lot of money to get to that tier. And then the next level is the ambassador membership, meaning you have a Nordstrom credit card and you spend a minimum of 5,000 annually at Nordstrom with your credit card. These people got access to the sale two days after the icon status. And the third tier is the Nordstrom influencer status, which is open for all of the people who have a Nordstrom credit card. Now this access began July 16th, so another two days after the ambassador tier got access to the sale. And then lastly, the sale opens to the general public July 28th, which is about a week and a half after the influencer status. And things do generally tend to sell out pretty quickly, so if you want something, my recommendation is to save it on your Nordstrom wish list, get the app, go in there and save it there because once the sale opens up for you, you can just go immediately add it to cart and check out and Nordstrom does offer free shipping and free returns for everyone who has the app and a membership. So I think that's pretty great that you don't actually have to go in store and look for the items. You can just do everything at the touch of your phone, which is pretty convenient. But I will say if you wanna see things in person or if you want to feel items or try items on, it is probably best to go in store, but you risk the chance of your store not having those items so I would definitely recommend ordering it on line and then returning it if it doesn't fit or ordering two sizes with the intention of only keeping one just to make sure that you are able to get the items that you want on the sale. So now that we've touched about the basics of the sale, the access and the tiers, I want to talk a little bit about the items included in the sale because I will let you know I don't think everything is worth it. I feel like generally brands do have better deals on their website around Christmas time, around the holidays like Black Friday or even during the new year, Cyber Monday. So if you are looking for a high ticket item, I definitely would recommend checking out the sales during those times and trying to compare them. That way you know when is the best time to purchase. Now I will say what Nordstrom does best during the sale is their bundles. I absolutely love their bundles. They have really great prices on a lot of items and I want to go through them with you and let you know if I think they're worth it, what I plan on picking up and what I have my eye on. Now I am a Nordstrom credit card holder and the sale did open up to me on July 16th. So I have already placed a couple orders and I have a few items in person but I don't have everything so I'm not able to try everything on for you, but I'm gonna do my best and I can definitely do a part two to this video, trying everything on and letting you know what I think. I'm hoping that my order gets here quick because I ordered it on the day the sale opened at like 7 a.m. 
but I know that everyone was ordering that day because a lot of people have credit cards at Nordstrom. So, so the first category I'm gonna talk about are clothes. Now Nordstrom has a lot of name brand clothes on sale during the Nordstrom sale. They have a lot of great amazing brands that are really popular such as Free People, Nike, Barefoot Dreams, Good American, lots of high name brands. So if you've had your eye on some of these name brands, I do think it is worth checking out to see if it's worth the price to you on the certain items. So first off, I wanna talk about Nike. Now I really love Nike sweatpants, but they can be a little expensive sometimes, especially the newer releases. So when I saw these Nike fleece pants, I knew I had to get them. I generally don't buy name brand sweatpants. I'm pretty lenient with just generic sweatpants or sweatpants from Walmart because I feel like you can style them any way you want and you really can't tell besides like the Nike symbol, of course. But when I saw these fleeced sweatpants, these are so cute and they're so chic. Look at the design. They have the stitching down the middle, which gives it a really sophisticated look, gives you a little bit more detail rather than the traditional sweatpant. And I feel like it gives you a little bit of structure as well. It does have the cuffed ends at the bottom, so it tapers around your shoe, which I love. I also really love this tan color. I did order this in the gray color as well because there are three different colors. There's black, there's this beige color, and then there's gray. They're also really long, which I appreciate because I'm 5'7 and I like when my sweatpants are a little bit longer. They are a really loose fit as well, so they're really comfy, they're really cozy. They'll be great for traveling when people start doing that again. They'll be great to lounge around and they'll be great for the fall time. And I feel like they're just really good essentials for every day. This retails for $45 and it's originally $60. So you do get a $15 price reduction, which Nike's expensive and sometimes they don't always offer great sales, especially on the really good quality items such as these. And then they also have the matching crop sweatshirt as well as the matching hoodie. I will say the only thing that I wasn't crazy about with these sweatpants is they don't have the drawstring, which I think I fluctuate in weight a lot sometimes. So I really wish these would have had the drawstring so I could have tightened them if I need to or if they got a little looser throughout the day, I could tighten them. But next day I wanna talk about this Thread and Supply shirt jacket. I know this was a huge trend a while back, but I'm so glad to see that this trend has stayed because I really love a big, cozy jacket, especially in the winter when it's super cold. I feel like this can go a lot with different variations of outfits, especially when you're trying to be comfortable and you're trying to go out. It can accomplish being chic, but also comfy, and I love both, you know I do. It does come in three colors and it's normally $50 and it is on sale for $32 which is almost a $20 reduction I haven't seen this one in store because it has been sold out but online it does look like really good quality really thick and it really does look like it's gonna keep you warm it is also lined on the inside with a different texture that can keep you warm and it's not super itchy it also has a button closure as well as a collar and buttons in the front and it is a 100% polyester. It comes in three colors. I honestly really want the beige one and the striped one, but I'm not gonna let myself pick up both. I'm only gonna grab one, which is most likely gonna be the beige one. So I'm gonna order this one when it comes back in stock. It does come an extra small to an extra large, and it does look like it's a pretty oversized fit. Okay, so the next item I wanna talk about that is also on my wish list that I have not seen in store is these Urban Outfitters 90s Vintage Mom Jeans. Now, I am obsessed with mom jeans these days. They're so comfy. I have passed that skinny jean phase. I will no longer wear skinny jeans. I will no longer feel tight and uncomfortable. Mom jeans is completely the way to go and these look so good. I love the quality. I love the color of them. I, I love where it lands on your shin. Like it's not too long, but it's not too short. And I feel like you could style these a lot of different ways. I also love that they're not distressed. I feel like I have also surpassed my distressed phase because I wear my jeans to work a lot on Fridays and I need a pair that isn't distressed that I can wear into the office and something that's really versatile. 
These are originally $69 and they're on sale for $45. They're a little expensive, but I am willing to spend a little bit more on a really good jean because I feel like they last you a lifetime. The next item that is on my wish list is this BP mock neck crop top. I love the little design on the neckline and I love that it's long sleeve, but it's not a super thick material. So you can definitely wear this in fall where in Texas it is still quite hot in the fall. So I need really loose material to wear, but not be overpowering where I am breaking a sweat because it does get cool in the mornings and in the evenings. This one comes in three colors and it is originally $19 and it's on sale for 12. And I think this is just a good versatile everyday shirt to wear with those high waisted jeans. So the next item on my list that I'm really, really curious about and I've heard a lot of people talk about is the Zella leggings and the Zella activewear line. Now, if for those who don't know, because I know for sure I didn't know, Zella is the Nordstrom activewear brand and apparently they have really great quality stuff. So I have a few items on my wish list from them. So these leggings are advertised to be high-waisted and the seventh, eighth length, which I really love. I hate when they're too short, but these look like the perfect fit. They also look like really great quality. They're mostly polyester with a little bit of spandex in there and they do come in four colors and range from extra small to extra large. I do wanna see these in store to be able to feel the quality because I have not seen them in store yet, but I definitely think I'm gonna be purchasing a pair of these to see how they last over the years. These are originally $65 and they're on sale for 35, so almost a 50% price reduction. They also have different variations of the leggings. They have some with pockets, they have some with a cuff at the bottom. So definitely if you're interested, go check out the different variations they have. They have some shorter ones, they have some shorts, and they also have some sports bras. Okay, so the next thing on my wish list is this blank NYC faux leather jacket. It is originally $98 and it is on sale for $54, so almost a 50% price reduction. It does come in two colors. Now I did feel this one in store and this one feels really good. It feels really comfortable. They did not have my size, so that's why I didn't pick it up, but I do plan on snagging it if I do see it in my size. It comes in a beautiful olive green color and black. It does have adjustable zippers and it just overall looks really chic. It comes in sizes extra small to extra large and I need a good faux leather jacket. I don't have one and I've been wanting one for a couple years now so I'm really intrigued by this one because I know that Nordstrom is also having another real leather jacket on sale but is $325 which I am not paying that much for a leather jacket. I I'd rather just get a faux one and call it quits because I feel like these are pretty interchangeable, right? Like you can get one every couple of years and go ahead and change it out because I know a lot of the time styles change. So I think this is a really good affordable option if you are in the market for one. I am also eyeing this Adidas crew neck. It comes in two colors in a pink salmon and a pastel light green. It is originally $50, but it's on sale for $36 and I love a good crew neck. Something about them are just so comfy. I do not like hoodies whatsoever. I just feel like it's too much like right here and I feel like generally crew necks have a larger neck opening and I don't feel uh, claustrophobic. I know that sounds crazy but I love a good crew neck and I love a pink crew neck especially like in this light salmon color. It's not like a true pink and this one just looks really soft and really comfortable. I'm also eyeing this BP ribbed crew neck sweater. It is normally $30 and it's on sale for $18. It does come in three colors, a tan, a black, and a purple. And it varies in size from extra, extra small to extra large. And it just looks really comfy, really cozy. Come the winter time, I always love a good sweater to have, to wear, to throw on. And you can style it a number of ways with a jean jacket, with a leather jacket, with a coat, with a scarf. There's so many different ways you can style a sweater. So I feel like this one's a good price. Next, I wanna talk about the Nike Tempo Dry Fit running shorts. These were really popular when I was in high school and I still have my same pair to this day. I wear them all the time and I do love that they have the little underwear in there because it just keeps everything secure when you're running, when you're working out. And they have two colors in the Nordstrom sale, gray and dark gray. 
These normally retail for $30, but they're on sale for $22, which I feel like is a decent price. Mine has lasted me years years and I still wear them to this day. So I did pick up the light gray pair and I will do a try on haul when it all comes in because it hasn't yet made it to my door. But I'm really excited to have another pair of these. I really love everything gray as well. I feel like it's a good neutral color and it goes with a lot of my tennis shoes. So let's talk a little bit about Barefoot Dreams. Now they have a bunch of items in the sale from blankets to cardigans to even socks and pillows. Now I am not at the place in my life yet where I can justify purchasing a hundred dollar blanket. You heard me. Their blankets are a hundred dollars. Apparently they are absolutely worth it that they machine wash and machine dry really well and that they're really soft and they don't lose their softness. I would love to be able to purchase one, but I just am not there yet. I also didn't really like the cheetah print variation one I would go with the solid plain one and they retail for $98 and that's with the discount I will say they did feel quite soft in the store I mean they were pretty amazing but if you're looking for a more affordable option Nordstrom does have a the Nordstrom brand of a blanket and it actually does come in white and I almost picked this one up as well. It is on sale for $24.90 so almost a fourth of that price and these did feel really really soft in person. This one does come in 25 colors which is pretty impressive and it does have the little tassels at the end which is super cute. This one is really soft. I did feel this one in person and I did feel it next to the Barefoot Dreams. The Barefoot Dreams I will tell you it is a little bit softer but this one is pretty up there in quality. This one is 50 by 60 and it is a pretty huge blanket. It's 100% polyester and I feel like they have so many colors and essentials that can match your style. So I definitely recommend picking this one up if you are in search of a new throw blanket. I want to also note that they have a larger style available that is a little bit more expensive. It's $32 on sale, originally $49. This one only comes in five colors and it is a 50 by 70. Speaking of Barefoot Dreams, I did however pick up their socks because I could not resist. They were on sale for $19 and you get a two pack and they're the long socks and I really wanted to give them a try. I've heard that they machine wash really well and they last over time. So I did pick a pair up. They're not here yet and I just, I really need them to get here so I can test the quality. But I'm really excited about these. They had a couple colors but I think they're all sold out. I will link them below down in case they do come back in stock and if they do i do recommend picking these up because if you want to try the barefoot dreams brand like i do this is a great introduction okay guys let's move on to shoes because i did pick up a pair of shoes that i'm really really excited about and they had a lot of good shoes during the sell i'm not gonna lie i wanted to pick up quite a few more i just had to stop myself because i already have a lot of shoes shoes are superior to clothes to me any day. I will buy a brand new pair of shoes almost every time I go shopping over clothes and then I have all these shoes and I have no clothes and that's just a problem that I have to deal with. So let's talk about the shoes that I picked up this time. These are by Steve Madden and they are the Haley Platform Chelsea Boots. Now, I did pick up a pair of Steve Madden Chelsea boots last year, the ones with the chain around them with the little diamonds, and I thought they were absolutely beautiful. I wore them a ton, but one of the problems that I was having is I could not wear them with denim jeans. I did not like the black and the blue together, and when I saw these in this beautiful bone color, I could not resist. These are on sale for $80, which is pretty expensive. I paid about $110 for my other ones, and I mean, yeah, that, that's a pretty penny for a boot. I'm not gonna lie, but I love Steve Madden shoes. They're one of my favorite shoe brands. So I do love that these are a little bit different than the ones I have. They're a little bit taller on the ankle. And if you know me, I am pretty tall myself. I know I say that a lot, but I just like to reiterate it just in case you are tall and have leaner legs like I do, leaner ankles. And I'm always looking for a taller boot because I feel like a lot of the times, since I am taller, my jeans hit at a different length and then my boots hit at a different length. So a lot of times I'll have like a little bit of skin showing, which Sometimes that's not what I'm wanting to go for, but this one is a little bit taller. It has a six inch shaft 
And it also has this really beautiful like cloth knit backing around the ankle. And I love this style. I love this style for dresses because it does go up a little bit taller on your shin. And then I also love them for really high-waisted cropped jeans because you get that little peekaboo of linen around your ankle and it just looks so pretty. It's also like a rib texture, which you all know I'm obsessed with. I've raved about rib textures here on my channel for like the past five videos. I'm pretty sure y'all are sick of it. These also have a synthetic upper lining and sole. You do get that chunky sole, that really like cute look. That's how you dress it because when I wear these, I wear them like with flannels and I just make them look really edgy. You do get a two and a fourth inch heel with a three and a fourth platform. I did get my size in a size eight because my other ones are true to size. So I'm assuming that these are gonna be true to size as well. I wish I had them in person to show you, but they haven't arrived yet, but I have seen these in store and they are absolutely beautiful. It comes in three colors. They also come in a sand suede color, which oh my god I want it so bad but I do not need two pairs of the same boot in every color I just don't and then they also come in a black leather which I already have a pair of black leather so I ended up going with the bone and when they get in I will definitely let y'all know an update on how much I love them okay the next shoe that I really really want to get but I have a pair almost identical to these so I did not purchase them yet i'm giving myself like another week until i cave and actually get them because they're so cute it is these nike court vintage premium sneakers now you do get three colors in these these are originally 70 dollars and they're on sale for 50 which is i think a pretty good snag especially for the nike brand i mean a pair of air force ones cost like a hundred dollars so to get a similar pair for 50 i think that's a good deal these come with the little nike symbol on the side it's not like the big check mark like the air force ones I'm really eyeing this sale color. Oh my god, it's so cute because it has a little baby blue Nike sign on the side, but the white one is also super chic. I just don't like how it has the orange and the black. To me, it kind of reminds me of Halloween, so I don't think I'm going to pick those up, but the pink pair is also really, really cute. I don't know. I definitely recommend these. If you're in the market for a good pair of sneakers, Nike does not disappoint. Okay, so the last booty and the last shoe that I am eyeing and I cannot get my eyes off of them is this Sam Edelman Lex boot. Now, I need a good pair of combat boots. I don't have any more. I gave mine away about a year and a half ago and I miss mine. And when I saw that these come in a modern ivory, I was like, whoo. I need those. I need those. They're $120. They're a little pricey, but they're originally $180. So, I mean, that's a good quality boot right there that will last you a long time. They also have four colors. It comes in a mineral green, a black, a modern ivory, and a sesame color. The sesame color is also pulling at my heart. I need, I need one of these. They have a lace-up style, but they also have a zip on the side, so you don't have to sit there and lace everything up. You can just slip your foot in real quick, and you are good to go. I'm really, really eyeing these. I want to go to the store and try them on to make sure that they fit right before I purchase them. But if you're looking for a more inexpensive combat boot, Treasure and Bond does have three different colors of their variation. Theirs are normally $120, but they're on sale for $70. And the ivory color is also calling my name. It just has a little bit of a thicker platform than the other one. It also has a platform on the top of the boot as well. I wouldn't say it's a platform. It's like a it's like a little lining at the front of the boot. Like I'll show a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. This one does have a one inch platform, a six inch shaft, and a one and third fourth inch heel. They are also lace up style with a zip closure. And these are a really great option because they come in a darker brown color like the other ones don't. And then they also come in a gray, which I think is really, really, really interesting because they have sort of like a unique color story. Okay, last boot for real. The last one that I really, really want to purchase, but I know I'm not going to because they just don't have my variation, is the Vince Camuto Ophelia Knee High Boot. Now, I've seen these all over the internet. I've seen so many pictures of them. I've seen them in person. They are absolutely stunning. They have that Western style, which is really, really in right now, but they also have a square toe, which is also chef's kiss really in, especially when you pair it with the Western. I've never seen anything like these. When I see the knee high like Western booties, most of them have a pointed toe, but these square toes, oh my God. I wish they came in a slim calf because my calves are very lean, very skinny, 
and a lot of the regular boots just don't fit my calf. It just ends up looking like really huge on my leg. And this pair comes in a regular pair and a wide calf, but the regular is still too big for me because I've seen them in store and I've measured. Trust me, I've done my homework. If this came in a skinny calf, I would totally jump on this and buy it. These are normally $240, but they're on sale for $150. And I feel like these would last you a long time. It does come in four colors. It comes in a dark chocolate suede. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then it also comes in a tortilla color, which is, I love that name. Like I want that boot just for that name. It also comes in a light cognac or cognac. I don't know how to say that word completely, which is a beautiful like darker burnt orange. And it's also a leather, I believe. And then it comes in a black leather. And Vince Camuto boots, they just are done right. They fit really well, they're really comfortable, and they last forever. So Vince Camuto, can you please come out with this version of a boot with a skinny calf? Love you, thanks. Okay guys, so we are almost done. We are in our last category, my favorite, the beauty category. Now, they have some great beauty bundles and I did pick up a few already so I can show them you here in person. First off is this New Face bundle. I have been eyeing New Face for a long time. So New Face is a skincare brand. They sell skincare products as well as skincare tools. Now the theory behind the New Face brand is you get like a new face with their tools, which I think is so unique. It's so like catchy. The technology behind New Face is it is a microcurrent contour facial tool. This is supposed to help you with the contours of your face, with fine lines, with fine wrinkles, with sagging, all of the above. Now you all know that I'm a skincare junkie, so when I saw that this deal came out with a four set, I had to grab it. You do get the New Face Mini, which they do also have the regular one on sale as well. I'll link it below. But I like the Mini because it comes with the Mini, obviously. It comes with the charger, and then it also comes with the New Face Fix, which is primarily supposed to be for like your lip area and then your eyes right here. It's also really nice to travel with. They're both a really good size. I feel like the big one was a little bit too big for a starter device for me. I want to make sure that I use this baby up before I commit to getting the original price because I believe that one's like $400 but this set is originally $358 if you were to buy everything separately you also get the gel primer and then a fix serum so you get a lot of good things with this guy and it was only $219 this is a good starter kit as I was mentioning because you can use this baby five times a week two times a day now I have read tons and tons and tons of reviews. This will not give you results unless you are consistent with this product. If you're not consistent with this product, it's a waste of money because you have to use it pretty much every day to see results and you get to see like skin firming, skin tightening, and a reduction of wrinkles. This is over a prolonged time of use, so I cannot wait to start using this bad boy. I already used it this morning, and I will let you know, it does feel a little funky on the skin. It's microcurrent, so when you put it on your skin, you feel like little vibrations, and you have to be sure to prime your skin because if you don't, it will feel like, um, like a little shock almost. I'm excited to use this. I will let you know if I see a difference, but give me about six months or so, okay? Okay, so the next item I wanna talk about is an item from Joe Malone. Now, if you're not familiar with Joe Malone, they are a British-based perfume and candle company, and oh my gosh, they make some of the best scents. Now, I will say, I am newer to the brand. I am so new that I discovered them through this Nordstrom cell. Now, when I say I am obsessed with this duo, I'm being serious, I am obsessed. So I picked up the Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt Duo from the Nordstrom Cell. It is $89, normally $120, and it does come with this beautiful box, first and foremost. I mean, come on, that is absolutely stunning. And it does come with a perfume in the Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt scent, as well as this really luxurious body and hand wash. 
I mean, look at the packaging on that. Is that not stunning? I actually had never smelled any of Joe Malone's perfumes or anything like that, but when I saw this one when I was on the sale, I was genuinely curious. So I went over to the Nordstrom sale and I asked to smell the scent and I was blown away by how unique it was. I can't describe it to you. I have nothing else in my collection like this. And I feel like a lot of the perfumes in my collection are really, really feminine, really strong, really almost sexy. But when I smelled this one, it was so different from any of those. This one is really soft, but it also has a very sweet element. I, I, I really, I wish I could describe this to you, but just please go to Nordstrom, smell this. And tell me that this does not smell so beautiful. I'm gonna put the notes right here so y'all can see exactly or get like an impression of what it smells like because I'm doing an awful job at explaining this. I don't know, it's really unique and it stays on me for quite a while. So I did pick up this set and I already know that I'm gonna go through this like crazy because I've been using this every single day since I got it. And yeah, I'll definitely be repurchasing the full size because I cannot get enough of this yummy scent. It is my summer scent. You're gonna catch me in this all summer. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I know I mentioned a lot of items, but please do not feel obligated to shop this sale if you cannot and if you are not in the right space to do so. Definitely recommend waiting if you don't think some of these sales are worth it to you. I totally hear you. Wait till Black Friday, wait till Cyber Monday. A lot of these companies have really, really great 50% sales, better than the Nordstrom. So don't get sucked into that you have to get this right now. I just wanted to highlight some of the items that I'm looking for. There are a couple of honorable mentions, but I do want to make a part two when my items come in where I can mention those because there are some items that I think are a great deal. I just didn't purchase them this time. So let me know if you plan on shopping the Nordstrom sale and what you plan on getting and give this video a thumbs up and a like and share with a friend that you think would find this interesting.